Students should learn about register. They need to know how vocabulary choice is contingent on the register of language use. There are certain situations where words are used. Different words are used for talking among friends than in a classroom or business meeting, for example. Teachers need to teach students to be aware of the contexts where they find words and provide students with words in a variety of contexts, always with attention to the context. Students should learn about all aspects of word knowledge, written and spoken forms, context of use, and collocations. And teachers should provide students with lots of exposure to vocabulary while raising their awareness of their important features. Professor Rinaldi's insights into how vocabulary is learned are very informative to us as we think about how technology can help. Based on what he said, I would suggest the following. We can show students how to use vocabulary tools to look words while reading. We can teach students to search the internet to find images and examples of vocabulary in use. We can use a corpus to help show students word patterns. We can also encourage students to use spell checkers to learn correct spellings. And we can introduce students to online communities outside the classroom, such as fan fiction communities. Let's take a look at some examples of each of these types of technology uses for vocabulary. Here's an example of one vocabulary tool that students can use while they're reading. It's called Lingro, and it allows students to attach the text they are reading to the Lingro program. And the Lingro program becomes a dictionary for every word in the text. Where the arrow appears is the place where the student can type in a website and the Lingro program will attach to that text in that website in order to provide definitions for the words. Let's see how it works. Here's a story in the New York Times about Donald Trump's tough talk on trade. The story is about some of the things Trump said shortly after he was elected president. The Lingro program makes the text look different. The Lingro program allows the students to move the cursor to any word that he or she wants to see defined and then click. And the dictionary definition comes up for each of the words. So there is secure in the first sentence. Donald J. Trump secured the White House in part with his vow to bring manufacturing jobs to America. If we want to look up the word secured, we just move the cursor there and click on it, and then it gives dictionary definition of that word. The dictionary definition of the word deem is shown on the slide. There's another example of the same text. In this case, we clicked on the word vulnerable, and vulnerable then appears defined so that the student can see literally any word in the text defined. It's like having a mobile electronic dictionary with the text that the student wishes to read. 